My name is Brother Kenneth Nebue. Welcome to the place of warning and forewarning. The question today is, what is in the straight gate that frightens people away from it? What is in the straight gate that many who approached it turned away sorrowful? Hold your ears. We begin the discussion after this moment. receive great miracles and provisions from Jesus are rejecting the warning of Jesus to enter in at the straight gate. Why are the people who are professing the Lord Jesus are rejecting the call of Jesus to enter in at the straight gate? Why are the people who are coming to Jesus with great dancing steps, singing on praises, are rejecting the command of Jesus to enter in at the straight gate. What is in the straight gate that frightens people away from it? What is in the straight gate that people who approached it turned away sorrowful? Let us discuss it now. And know the worst of it and count the cost if we should reject the warning and the command of the Savior. Jesus said, enter ye in at the straight gate. For wide is the gate and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction, and many there be that go in thereof. Because straight is the gate, and narrow is the way, which leadeth unto life, and few there be that find it. Why are there few that find the gate that leads to life? What is in the straight gate that frightens people away from it, to escape from the eternal damnation and hell? What is in the straight gate that many who approached it turned away sorrowful to rather wait for the destroyer to destroy them. The straight gate is the church Christ laid the foundation and died for and will be coming soon to receive again. The angel of the church is standing at the gate of the church with the sword of the spirit because the minute sin will not pass through the gate that leads to heaven. This is what frightens many away from the straight gate. The homemongers and the abominable are called to salvation, but they must enter in at the straight gate. All liars are called to salvation, but they must enter in at the straight gate. The fornicators and the adulterers are called to salvation, but they must enter in at the straight gate. The sorcerers and the idolaters are called to salvation, but they must enter in at the straight gate. The murderers the robbers and the politicians are called to salvation, but they must enter in at the straight gate. This is what frightens many away from the straight gate. What is in the straight gate? The angel of the church, Christ laid the foundation and died for, is standing at the gate of the church, wielding the sword of the spirit, insisting that the conditions Christ placed at the gate of the church must be kept. This is what frightens many away from the straight gate. A fearful and unbelieving came at the straight gate, but turned away sorrowful because they counted the cost of self-denial too high to pay. The pride and the abominable came at the straight gate, but they turned away sorrowful because self could not allow them to go in. The fornicators and the adulterers came at the straight gate, but turned away sorrowful because the flesh could not allow them to go in. The homemongers and liars came at the straight gate, but turned away sorrowful because they could not forsake the world and its worldliness. The sorcerers and the idolaters came at the straight gate, but turned away sorrowful because they could not make the decision to serve the living God. The murderers, the robbers, and politicians came at the straight gate, but turned away sorrowful, because the angel of the church will not hide the sword of the spirit because of their money. This is what frightens many away from the straight gate. The straight gate is the place false teachers and false prophets are loitering every day, waiting to receive those who will go away sorrowful from the truth. Who is calling you to the easy gospel? The Bible says in Galatians chapter 1 verse 8, But though 
We are an angel from heaven. Preach any other gospel unto you than that which we have preached unto you. Let him be accursed. The straight gate is a place of conversion for the few who are determined to go into life eternal. At the straight gate, the sinner comes willingly for conversion. He drops his load of sin at the foot of the cross and goes into the church to be broken, shaken and remolded by the porter. At the breaking down, the sinner will hear the cracking sound of his stony heart. And shaking down, the sinner will hear the sound of the dropping down of his worldly acquisitions. And remolding him, the sinner will feel the excruciating pain of self-denial. This is what frightens many away from the straight gate. When the sinner is coming out from conversion, when the sinner is coming out from the church, Christ laid the foundation and died for, he becomes a brand new man. He is washed and sanctified. His conscience is alive and sensitive. Because his conscience is alive, he looks back at the old life in sin and weeps. He wept because he saw the people he had slandered and hurt with lies. He wept because he saw the things he had stolen and the people he had defrauded. With a new garment of purity, the Holy Spirit leads him to the place of restitution. Because grace has conquered fear, fear will not stop him from making his restitution. Because grace has conquered shame, shame will not stop him from making his restitution. Because he has received the assurance of salvation, he is fearless to confess his sins, even to lay down his life for the truth. In the power of the Holy Spirit, he is moving to make his confessions apologizing to those he has slandered and hurt with lies, and restoring to those he had defrauded and stolen from. This is what frightens many away from the straight gate. True repentance removes sin from the heart, but restitution removes object we gain sinfully from our house. True repentance has a double aspect. It looks upon things passed with a weeping eye, and upon the full shore with a watchful eye. This is what frightens many away from the straight gate. Again, my name is Brother Kenneth Nebue. I want to thank you for the time you spent to listen to this message. If the Holy Spirit in any way spoke to you concerning this message, please leave your testimonial comment in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook. God bless you.